Hello guys and welcome to Samosa Reviews. Today we are going to look at the DWC Everest 1 and DWC Everest 2 and what is similar between them and what are the differences between them and uh, since we have both the watches right here we will do a comparison of both. So from the get go you can see that the cases that they have provided for both watch cases are different. This is a very vintage style watch case that has come with DWC1 or uh, Everest 1 and uh, this is a leather pouch of sorts again slightly vintage that has come with Everest 2. So from the get go we can see that they have changed the cases. This is a case that is very similar to what they have offered with the DWC Devnagri. I am not talking about the chronograph, the other the regular DWC Devnagri that we have we had bought a few days ago a few months ago so this case is similar to that uh, this case does not have the dwc branding while this case has a dwc branding but if you ask me i would prefer this case because the watch remains uh, in a slightly more you know balanced position in this well as it will flip flop in this even if you are carrying it because there's no safety hold to the watch inside so these are the boxes uh, initially the boxes are different now we'll take a look at the watch okay so the first thing that comes to mind when uh, you look at both these watches is that say is that song uh, same same but different because these watches are so similar in terms of looks they are extremely similar in fact dwc2 had a dial which was same as this dial and uh, you know, I, I went for the black one because I already have this. Otherwise, I would have two very same looking watches because uh, very, very similar. Again, the cases look very similar. Look at that polished cases and uh, very, very similar in looks. Okay, so now let's get to the differences. The similarities are in the looks, right? So they are very similar looking but you'll see some subtle differences like the crown on this is bigger you have uh, applied loom indices whereas they are printed indices on these both have uh, mercedes hands and uh, mercedes second hand diamond cut mercedes hands bracelets are different we'll talk about that but the first thing we'll talk about the difference in the difference between both these watches is the movement this watch is the DWC Everest one is powered by a refurbished citizen movement, which is basically an uh, NOS movement probably, which was unused. They have serviced it and put it in this one, but it's an old movement. So they've taken an old movement, serviced it, uh, made it ready and they have put it into this. You get a display case back. This is a citizen made movement. As you can see here. There are marks of wear on the rotor. I'm sorry, it's not focused. Yeah, there are marks of wear on the rotor, and that shows you that this movement is older, uh, which has been remade and uh, refurbished, and this put you put into this watch. In the new DWC watch, the Everest 2, the movement is a brand new Seiko NH35A movement. As you can see, it's a brand new movement inside there surprising how they were able to fit a bigger movement like this in the same size as these now owing to the movement many things are different in the way these watches function ek to similarity to ye hai that both have quick set dates yahan pe dekh sakte hain is a quick set date on this there's also a quick set date on this uh but the crown right you see a difference in the crowns of both watches this has a small crown this is a big crown uh, so the this crown is a regular crown and since it has a citizen movement you can wind it you can manually wind this watch and also it's self winding matlab aapki wrist ke movement se ye chalti hai so uh, you know that is there so but this is a regular crown which can be used for winding the watch and then you just pull it out and set the date and then pull it further out and set the time. However, in this watch, 
the crown is a screw down crown as you see it doesn't pull out so you have to unscrew the crown here this is a diverse crown matlab pani andar nahi jana chahiye isliye they have this crown so that it it adds to the water resistance uh, and protection of the watch um, so the first thing is the crown this has a screw down screw down diverse crown well as uh, the other one the dwc1 has a regular crown one second another point of difference is that uh, the dwc1 the movement used in uh, the dwc everest 1 is a non hacking movement matlab uh, when you pull the crown out all the way it it does not stop the second hand keeps working whereas sorry in the dwc2 the everest 2 when you pull the crown out all the way the second hand stops you see here seiko nh35 is a hacking movement matlab when you pull the crown all the way out the second hand stops so you get a hacking movement with this okay the third point is the bracelet you can see the bracelet on dwc1 it's a very nice bracelet honestly at this price this was priced at 2500 3000 rupees something like that right 2800 rupees but the bracelet they have provided a two tone bracelet with this is amazing quality is really really nice it does not have however the end links that go right into this you call it something i i don't uh, recall exactly but they call something they go right here which is there for this there's no spaces look at that so this uses a cheaper bracelet i don't think this bracelet is as good as that one dwc1 used a much better bracelet than this uh this is a slightly cheaper bracelet somebody asked me in the unboxing video whether this is a if this is a jubilee bracelet no my friend is not a jubilee bracelet you can see here see here this is a regular bracelet it looks like a jubilee bracelet from outside it's not a jubilee bracelet at all and uh, slightly cheaper though it's very comfortable i will give props where uh, props are due this bracelet is extremely comfortable so there's no uh, there, there's nothing like uh, you know there's that's not a negative thing about it very comfortable but this is cheaper bracelet right and this is a this is a better bracelet i favor this bracelet over this is thicker it's better compared to this they have cut costs on the bracelet definitely loom is another point of difference this is this has looms on the hands on the r minute and second hand while this has loom on the r minute seconds as well as the indices because these indices are loom applied whereas this is just a printed uh, dial so there is more loom on this watch if you need loom at all uh, that is that is that is there in this watch Uh, another point of difference is the glass this uses a normal mineral crystal a mineral glass which is good enough this one uh, which is good enough the glass is a mineral glass which is used in most watches today it's not a sapphire crystal which is an advanced glass uh, this is this gives good level of scratch resistance but not scratch proof well as this watch the dwc the everest 2 gives a sapphire crystal sapphire crystal is one of the hardest one of the most scratch resistant uh, glasses that are available and that they have given with this so a lot more value uh, value for money here this is one of the biggest points actually um, so you get a sapphire crystal on this a flat sapphire crystal this is almost scratch proof isko scratches nahi aate hain so the crystal is very very good power reserve in this watch is about uh, i think 30 uh, 35 hours um ek din one and a half day is the power reserve you get in this um, maximum i'm talking about maximum power is of one and a half day of uh, 30 hours 32 hours like that whereas in this you get a clear 41 hours of power reserve on a full charge so this it has a lot more power reserve compared to this again a refurbished old movement a uh, new modern movement that is what is creating all the differences in in this uh you get stainless steel uh, cases in both full stainless steel cases now with dwc1 the case is 
this is the thickness of the case whereas in dwc2 this is the thickness of the case as you can see the case is slightly thicker on dwc everest 2 whereas it is slightly thinner on dwc everest 1 that's owing to the movement seiko nh 35 is a bigger movement than the citizen uh, vintage citizen movement used in this one as you can see the difference is here one second let me try to look at that there's a difference in the cases You also get a stamped crown, DWC stamped crown with the DWC Everest 2, whereas you don't get that in Everest 1. See the crown. So this is thicker than this, uh, slightly chunkier, this one, DWC Everest 2 is slightly chunkier than the Everest 1. The case backs on both are mineral uh, crystal case backs. These are not sapphire on either both are mineral crystal case backs you get a two-piece clasp on both this clasp is different as you can make out both are stamped clasps um, i prefer this one uh, the i prefer the general bracelet in dwc1 uh, even though it does not have the end uh, link that this one has but in general i prefer the bracelet on this one so this was the comparison between DWC Everest 1 and DWC Everest 2, uh, very similar, but the specs very similar in terms of looks, very similar in terms of wear, size is very, very similar. I mean, same size in both, same type of wear in both, same style, uh, same looks, everything. But then there are a lot of difference differences between two. This has a lot more features than this one. Uh, but then again, this one costs 8,000 rupees, whereas this one cost me around 2,800 rupees. So there's a lot of difference in price and uh, more specs, like a, more, uh, you know, a difference on a higher side in terms of specs on this one. Though I will not put this one far behind. If you had put a sapphire crystal on this one, I think both would be very similar. Though the movement, like Seiko, people prefer Seiko NH35 over uh, refurbished citizen movement. Fair enough. This movement will in, will anyway last longer. This will last easily 8 to 10 years, even 15 years if you wear it nicely and you know protect your watch. It will work for 15 years. This one may have a life of 5 to 8 years after this, this, this movement will wear out. Then I have to replace it with another citizen movement or you know just uh, dump the watch because 2800 and putting a new movement servicing it, it's risky. This one has a longer life. DWC Everest 2 owing to its better movement has a lot longer life than Everest one. Okay, so this was the comparison between DWC Everest one and two. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Like, share and subscribe. If I have left something out, please ask me in the comments. I will uh, answer, try to answer them to the best of my knowledge. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.